Hi. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> so it's not. What time is it? It's like six something. Not even that early. Six thirty. Okay. Well, it's like three thirty-four. Yeah. Pacific time. <laughs> so it's six thirty. Um, we just got up and we're talking about how cold it was last night. How we slept. And so Sergey was up studying Arizona because he couldn't sleep for about an hour only. <laughs> Sergey yeah, was warm up. longing for Arizona. <laughs> Nothing happened to us other than we couldn't oh, sleep because yeah, it, it was like cold. cold in the middle of the night. Yeah. And now we're eating the bagels. All right. So after paying a fortune to get in here, we have gotten plus many in the span of like <laughs> one minute. <laughs> so there's two model duck right there. White Ibis is the small one, and then Mute Swan is the big one. Um, there's Osprey. There's Anhinga. Where'd it go? It's in this street. <laughs> and Hinga in the street. Watch out. Okay, well, can we go? Yeah, our car is kind of in a weird spot. Let's go. Yeah, we had to pay so much money to get in here. It's horrible. I hate this place. Okay, even though we paid tons and tons of money, it's out of control. So many goals. It's amazing. Costs a lot of money, though. Okay, so we're still here looking at gulls. It's actually, well, there's a lot of gulls. <laughs> it's hard because there's so many. But we're gonna head out soon and join Sergey. Sergey's not with us because he's working hard for the Bahama Mockingbird. We've been here playing with the gulls. I guess playing on the beach. Are you playing it or no? No. I don't like this Wayne since Marbler recording. All right, keep looking, Sergey. So anyway, we've rejoined with Sergey, and I was being angry about how the yeah, park the, the park costed sixteen dollars, but I made a resolution that as long as we found six lifers, it would be okay, which I guess we did. Um, but we're now looking for the Swainson's Warbler which is seen in this random trail where there's tons of warblers and stuff hopping around. Earlier we saw the Bahama Mockingbird, which is on the ground randomly on the side of the road. Sergey was quite pleased. Yeah, Aaron found it. And there were two birders that like <laughs> didn't care about it at all. Yeah, or maybe they already had seen it. Yeah, I don't know if they were looking at it before, but yeah. as soon as we saw it, they just started walking away. Big or small? Small. I, I, I think it like, really. Is that an eye catcher? Yeah, there was a different chip though. Sergey, do the owl thing. It worked really well, actually. All right, so we're here eating lunch after that tiring birding. It's like seafood stuff, and it's like right by the water. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Because we forgot the sandwiches because we're kind of dumb. Yeah, just like the pelagic. Yes, just like the pelagic, just like yesterday. <laughs> okay, so when we saw the mockingbird, there were two people like looking at it and like pointing at it and then they walked away. And then... And then... 
No offense. No, I don't want to say it. You don't want to say it. <laughs> well, you said it in a mean way. Okay, so later on, we saw the same two people, Sergey Banks. Yeah, definitely the same two. Definitely no, the same two. And they were asked us where the Mockingbird Yeah, they asked us the if we had seen the Mockingbird. And Sergey was like, weren't those the two people who were looking at it? And they just ignored it. And later on, we saw one of the two people looking for it again. And then I'm walking back to the car, and I just see it right there. And then I'm just like, isn't that it right there? And the just like, yeah. And then we call the guy. And what do you think, Sergio? And then he called his dad. Yeah. And then they both were like, that's it. Oh my god. And that's his dad? <laughs> well, I think so. Or his older friend. Uh, what yeah. do you think about their aptitude think, for searching for the mocking? I think maybe we didn't tell them the right place to look. Or maybe we should have described it better. We told them so well. Well, maybe they misunderstood. And they also saw it already. Did they? I swear they were looking at it when I was looking. I think maybe they were like walked slightly past the bend of the road, so they weren't actually looking at it. So they just ignored it. Probably. I mean, it, when it was on the ground, it was easy to mistake for a northern rock river. But I, I don't know. I guess they were they like they were looking specifically for it, so they should have checked pretty closely. Maybe they just happened to not see it though. I don't know. Are you disappointed? In them? Yeah. No. If either. that were you, how would you feel? Pretty disappointed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's food. It looks really good. I have the Cuban, which is apparently recommended here. This is shrimp Reuben, and this is fish of the day. And that's Tristan. And Sergey is washing his hands. Okay, so we're here at. Wait. Merritt Island NWR. Merritt Island NWR, and we're about to do the auto tour for $10, which means we need to get four lifers on this drive. That's fine, we already got one. Yes, we already saw tri-colored I guess hair. we didn't have to pay for that one. <laughs> okay, so no, we didn't get one yet, because that one was outside of the gate, which we didn't pay for, so it doesn't count. Did you, sir, did you say something? <laughs> yeah, so we're on the lookout for... Anything. Anything. A Florida scrub tree. Florida scrub tree, yes. Then we can skip the dumb trail. Or does he get spoonbills? Yeah, spoonbill would be nice. Glossy ibis. Flamingo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're here on the drive, the auto tour still, and we're currently looking at an alligator. Right, Sergey? Yes. What do you think about the alligator? I think it's pretty small. I'd like to hold it. I'd like to make it my pet. They're just pretty hardcore. <laughs> There's the alligator. Sergey's desired pet okay so we're here on the on the auto drive i think we've taken like an hour to go through like one one tenth of the the drive so we might need to speed up soon but sergey's lost himself right sergey okay so we're here at a little pavilion thing i don't know what's around here sergey what's that Greater Yellow Legs, wow. <laughs> okay, so we just finished the auto tour and then we made our way to a nearby trail called the Scrub Ridge Trail, right? And there is one of the most exciting species in the US. What would Armand call it, Sergey? Armand would now call it the scrub jay because he's a good birder. But he's learned a lot. How about in the past? In the past, he would call it the scrubs jay because it's, we misled him to think that it's scrubs jay. It's the Florida scrubs jay. So we got out of the car, we stepped into the like the parking area, we saw the bird, then we left. It was great and it was free too, right, Sergey? Uh huh. How do you feel about it? I feel I feel good. I like seeing the wise old jays. Wise and wise and old. Yeah, one day I hope to be like the Florida Scrub Jay. Well, you should explain why. It's like <laughs> wise and old. Because they have a bunch of white feathers on top of their head, which makes them look gray-haired or white-haired. <laughs> what do you think? Most efficient, most value in terms of money. Zero dollars for plus one. And time. I know, right? That's like better than all the other places we've been. I know. Sergey, mm, not good at using his time <laughs> wisely. It's an armadillo on the ground. We're stopped in the middle of the street. No, nah, not the middle of the street. The the light screen. <laughs> no one's behind us though. Yes. Eh. Very cool. 
Oh, the light turned red again. Oh my god, we missed it. Because of the armadillo. The armadillo's still here. Okay, <laughs> if it's red still. <laughs> How do you feel about seeing the armadillo? It was pretty cool. It was much bigger, than, or much smaller than I thought. Okay. I thought it would be huge. And how about our distracted driver? <laughs> Why do you think I stopped the car? That's awesome. Bird! Okay, so congratulations to our winner, Sergey. We're currently on Cocoa Beach right now, and Sergey just identified four, five black scoter. Sergey, how do you feel about your victory? How do you feel? It was a group effort. How do you feel about winning? I think we all won today. Okay, but you also won, right? Yes. Okay, how do you feel about the black scooters? I feel awesome that we all saw it. That, that you it saw it? For, for Tristan. That you Second saw it? Seeing it for Aaron. And you've and seen it much time. more than all of us. That's <laughs> not why I'm happy. You're about to crush the turtle. What turtle? There's a sand turtle. Did I just step on it? No, right there. Oh, this is a turtle. A turtle made of sand. Oh. <laughs> is a turtle made of sand? Is it a turtle? I think so. It's nice. shaped like a turtle. But is it a turtle or not? It's just sand. I don't know. <laughs> Probably just sand. Probably. I barely hear it. Because I'm an amateur compared to you after seeing Black Scooter five times. Oh my god. Okay, so we're initiating plan. They continue birding as I get the car and pick them up because the sun is setting. We walked really far and these two people kept chasing the goals like further and further away. So they kept chasing the goals as they got further away and it was really dumb. We didn't end up seeing them in the end, so, but, but it's very pretty out of the piece. Okay, so another day at dinner and Sergey has a question for everybody. One question. What was your highlight of the day? Top Who five species go. <laughs> <laughs> Who should we start with, Sergey? Um, <clears throat> Whoever wants to go first. Okay, who wants to go first? Aaron, you can go first. Okay. What else did we see? Can you tell me more? We saw warblers. We saw oh. six warblers this morning. Oh. Or I saw five warblers. I like the prairie warbler. What did you like about it? I liked how I saw it before everyone else saw it and Sergey was being distracted by a yellow rump warbler. That was pretty funny. Field marks? It was like pretty yellow. That's all I can say. I like roseate spoonbill since it's a spoonbill and it's pink. I like sandwich term because it has a funny name. I like albuji because I've been dreaming about it for a while. I like the mockingbird, but only because I can mock the people who didn't see it. That's what the mocking the meaning of the mockingbird is. <laughs> like it wasn't Yeah, the bird wasn't very cool, but it didn't call at all. No, it didn't. No. Okay. It almost fit you though. Yes, it did almost hit me. It he likes you too. Yes, it likes me a lot. I like the black and white warbler. Oh my god. Because it was black and white. I didn't even know we saw that. Or I forgot. It's very boldly patterned. That was like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Very easily identifiable. I also like Sandwich Turn. Not because his name is Sandwich. But I mean, everything is new, right? Mm. For amateurs like you, yeah. Okay, that was uncalled for. <laughs> I also like the prairie warbler. Because I got really good photos of it. And it's very crisply patterned. <clears throat> the white-eyed vireo is really cool too. The eye is so human. Very, I, I haven't seen any other birds with like that kind of, what is it called, iris? I wish I saw oven bird better. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Okay. That's not that. <laughs> Are we doing a one one thing you wish went better during the day? <laughs> okay. Finally, to the bird. DRTV. Okay. <laughs> to Duddy Rock Trona Ban Viskak himself. Yeah, I think my favorite was Ban Viskak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad we didn't see Duddy Rock. <laughs> <laughs> that we weren't in Trona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part. We're so far from home. <laughs> well, I'm pretty happy we're not in Trona. I'm pretty happy we're here. <laughs> What if all my Trona subscribers unsubscribe? I think Enhinga, the first one. One of the first birds we saw today. Enhinga? Yesterday, but yeah. Well, one of the first birds we saw during our day today. And a lifer. That was also I told I told the guy that Enhinga is a lifer, and he's like, how? 
<laughs> yeah, I told him I've been to Florida twice before. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, it's a pretty cool bird. And a pretty cool neck and a spear bill. Just the warblers. Probably like, yeah, they're like three out of the top five. Black and white was pretty cool because we saw it like nut hatching down the tree trunk. And then prairie was cool because of the facial pattern. Reminds me of Townsend's. Prairie and warbler making it to all three of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then oven bird, because I didn't realize how big it was, but it's like almost hermit thrush size. And it has a cool eye ring and like central orange crown stripe. And lastly, I think the gannet was super cool. Tristan spotted the gannet and then it dove. And it was much bigger than I expected. And then what's one thing you wish went better today? I wish I'd slept better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Less Arizona research time. Yeah. <laughs> or more Arizona research time. <laughs> <laughs> DRTB out. <laughs>